Save him. Oh, yeah, that guy. She's all the way over there. I think they feel a little more comfortable about going after this one now, too. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. Hmm. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge. But I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you, and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this.
I guess she was not on here before. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. What on earth happened here? Twenty mesmerized level. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices, maybe more. Did you recognize the voices? What did they say? I couldn't hear. Sounded like they were arguing or something. Goodbye for... On every street corner. The day Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Doctor Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Time has lost its effect on me, but the suffering continues. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Is he inside? It's locked, all right. It's locked.
you didn't drop anything. That sucks. it jumps. She's just hanging out here. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life. And we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. 
others need company. And some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so... medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort, everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all... ...equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say... I, too, have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences. He would also probably you want you to live doctorate. your life, not stay at his tomb. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here, too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and yeah. I. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees, but unfortunately you don't see her around anymore. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Go all the way down there. Do that on the way 
back. have all of that, so why isn't it letting me do it? Could I have gone? Man, that's kind of dumb. If she was right here, I could have just gone this way. Uh, oh well. well. Let's see if I can go this way. Take care of that, too. sick that guy where is he I didn't talk to her. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. Can we share this meal, really? Yes. And I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scal, I brought him here. Jonathan! How could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club. 
are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Is this a sign? A hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Have you embraced this woman, like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life, unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. doing in there I want to heal you I'm sure Albert would like to know he's been accepted by the wet loop boys.
Are they? Oh, wait. Wow, I'm dumb.
not hear everything that was going on. Oh. Sorry, sir. No admittance. See them fancy clothes? This one's a top! Friends die. Can't get to him yet. I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know, again, you pay. You again. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I saw her wandering the streets. Yesterday, I think. She didn't recognize me. People say she's lost it. It's a sad story. Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please, take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take you then. It's not like... Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Cheap price. Good quality. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Hmm. 
Wait. He's not here? I can't believe I'm doing this. Hmm. She's dead. Probably not a good idea to go up there. This is not a good thing for Whitechapel. Your chores concerning the community pillar have been recorded by the press. Is that because I wiped her memory? Hmm. I 
thought I killed them down there. Oh, there he is. Answer to all your problems. As long as you have the money. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel? Mr. Petrescu. Everything was going well until you arrived. Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. I regret it too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. Then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. Okay, so I guess... He wiped her memory a little too much. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. What do you plan to do, now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death, with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops.
Goodbye, Mr. Uh, could eat him. Oh, Dorothea. Because I don't think this place is recovering. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Halcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature, but they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me, but they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. This one's bugged for some reason. <clears throat> I haven't talked to him in a while. Ah, crap.
Oh, you're the closest one. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Free? You may soon find out that you have simply traded one set of shackles for another. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about hmm. someone else. I'm fine, dumbass. I have a future here. Goodbye, young man. Diamond or something on the compass. Flowers dying. It needs water. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. A leech! A I ought to have to step back!
back which way? That way. if I've been over here. Well, I'll go later. Get your weapons ready! Watch out! This was the right way. That's a blood. The hell? Oh, 
either. I need someone who can read this. locked. No, it's not. Oh, it's already level three, that's why. There is a name engraved under the blood on the back of the case. Maybe I should return this watch to his family. <laughs> 